Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Asshole Consulting, how are you kids dear, doing? Dear asshole, return customer here. After both reading Worthless and your personal recommendation, I'm dropping on my business degree in favor of an undergraduate in computer science. Awesome. Fuck you, liberal arts professors. Fuck you. I'm whittling away at your incomes. However, I've encountered some issue, namely I'm in the Netherlands and have yet to master Dutch to an academic level. All right. Uh, limiting my choice to universities that offer the major in English. Why do you have to attend a physical college to get a degree that's 100% data? Why don't you go online to an accredited university? Again, I, I don't know where you're from, um, but it, if you're an English speaker and you want an accredited, if American degrees carry any weight, Western Governors University, ASU Online, there are other universities now, no doubt, online that offer degrees in computer science. But I'd imagine if you need a European degree, there must be some accredited, reputable universities that are also offering a computer science degree online in whatever language you want. So that's, that's just an option there. But after carefully researching and inquiring about said courses, I've determined that all of their classes are five to ten years behind industry standard. So I've decided to follow the certification track. Here lies my question. I've noticed that Microsoft is retiring all its previous certifications in favor of its Azure system, uh, which is, I guess, cloud-based. Uh, yeah, when I look at the job market, I don't see any current demand for said certification. Yes, because it's brand new. That's why you're not seeing them just yet. The, it, the time will come. The time will come. Want to become a Microsoft certified engineer? You know, that still carries weight. Uh, just because it's not Azure doesn't mean it's not going to carry weight into the future. And just because it is Azure doesn't mean it's not going to carry any weight into the future either. That's just where the new certification trend is going. So over time, it will be uh, introduced and ingratiated in. Uh, are they worth pursuing or should I pursue more stable certifications such as Java and SQL? Best regards will keep you anonymous. All right, so I talked to my IT buddies, two of them. Actually, they're very high end. And look, you're all over the map on this one. It, it's all, do I want to do computer programming? Oh, do I want to do database? Oh, do you want to be an engineer? Do you want to do networking? You got to find out. And they use the fucking P word. They use passion. I'm like, Ugh. they're IT guys. They don't know. Um, what do you want to do? Okay, you're in the ballpark. I'm going to say this for the 8,000th time. You're in the ballpark. The benefit of deciding to major in a worthwhile subject <clears throat> means that you can then choose the subcategory of that worthwhile field that's of, of most interest to you. So if you want to be a programmer, by all means, you know, learn C, C Sharp, C++, uh, Python, although technically I found out that's not a language, or an, that's a scripting language. Oh, well, I'm sorry, please let me suck your dick. It's technically a Python. I'm like, how do you guys not get dates? How? How do you not get dates? Um, I even have an article, but this changes year to year with the most, uh, not article, video, what the most in-demand languages are. So if you want to go learn programming languages, go learn the damn programming languages, get the certifications. If you want to do database, do SQL. If you want to do uh, websites, although that's kind of becoming more commodity, web development is becoming more commoditized, do that. Full stack, then you're kind of, you know, you carry from uh, womb to tomb. Uh, and I can't do this for you guys. I can't sit there and say, what do I want to do? A lot of you guys come up and oh, what should I do in life? Well, you know, for $10,000, I guess I'll sit down and interview you real in, in, real in, in details. I'll find out about you and then I'll go and research all the day and I'll do all the lifting for you. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg. But dude... You got to go and figure out where in the world of computer science you belong, and it's going to take time and research. They do agree, and I'm uh, agreeing with them, that your certifications are going to be a requirement regardless, and so you should get those. And there still is some, you know, people, there's still some employers that don't really care that you have a degree or not. So if you have the certification and you can get some kind of experience, that's good and you can avoid going to school. However, they also acknowledge 
that modern day employers, they just can't because there's no price you can put on education. All we need are degrees. We all need our fucking degrees. So it's, it's coming, slowly but surely, it's coming. That if you, especially if you want to work in the big companies, you're going to need a degree. And so what they're recommending is you go part time, you work towards it so it's on your resume, but then you get your certifications and then you play it. You play it. Am I gainfully employed without a degree? Then stop going to college. Get more certifications. Is the recession hit? Is there a dot com crash? I can't find a job. Then you go back to school. You know, is everything fine and I'm bored? Well, take a class or two, maybe even at a physical college. You know, take a class or two just to just to hang out with people. Slowly work towards your degree. But shit, man, if you can make money on the table with just certifications and experience and hard work and self-teaching, go ahead and do it. There's no reason for you to fucking waste your time in college. Um, so, yeah. And then as, as to what certifications should you get? Dude, whichever ones you want, you're in the ballpark. You know. And then if you wanted to, again, you could pay an egregious sum of money for me to sit there and interrogate you and, and your life and your dreams and your futures. And what do you like this or do you like that? Do you like A? Do you like B? Do you see F? Do you see R? Um, no, you got to do that. You got to do that. But they do agree, certifications. Don't worry about the Azure system. Find out what you like to do first within the realm of computer science and then go look up and figure out what certifications, what languages, what uh, you know, networking, uh, what programming, whatever, Microsoft or not, uh, CCNA or not CCNA, Cisco, Cisco certified. I mean, it depends where you're going to go and who has the certifications, uh, CompTIA. And then find out what certifications you need to, you know, become a, a full stack developer, to become a programmer and pursue that. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, links down below. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.